Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my blue shirt, and uh, I am uh, racing on Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, this video is mainly going to be me talking about PlayStation 4 Pro and uh, how I feel about it since uh, its release on 2016, I believe. It was in November. Uh, was it 2016? Yeah, it was November 2016. I'm pretty sure it was November 2016. Um, and how I feel now that has been almost, what, two years since its release and how I feel about it. What are my initial thoughts on it? Uh, well, here's the deal. To me, PlayStation was always the place where you can play exclusive games. You know, and that was the one key strong point about the PlayStation. Uh, a lot of people keep forgetting uh, what makes PlayStation so unique and what makes PlayStation so great. It's really not just the graphics. It's not the, the 4K and HDR that they can also do. It's really the games that they have available. And I think that's what drives the PlayStation market. It's the games they have available. Okay. Uh, having the 4K and HDR is just an extra accolade. You know, it's just a little extra sugar on the top, if you will. Uh, their main focus was always, uh, and even Mark Cerny says their main focus has been uh, games and the quality that they can uh, implement with those exclusive games. And we have seen that with Uncharted 4 looks phenomenal on PlayStation 4 Pro. We have seen that with uh, Ratchet and Clank. We have seen that with uh, many other games. With The Last of Us remastered version. We have seen that with The God of War obviously looks fantastic. Now, people will say, but uh, they're not using a, a native 4K. They're using checkerboard. They're using dynamic resolution. So does the Xbox. Okay, There's maybe a handful of native 4K games that Xbox One X can do, but all in all, these are minor, minor differences, okay? Uh, when the Xbox fans start talking about this stuff to me, these are small nuances that majority of people will not notice, bottom line. Uh, unless you zoom it in like Digital Foundry does, uh, then you can maybe see it. But regular Joes and regular Marys, they will not see that. They will not notice that. So, you know, but that's their agenda. You know, their agenda is to make the case. And their case falls flat because uh, why should I spend $530 on the Xbox One X when I can go ahead and purchase myself a console for PlayStation 4 Pro for $350? And then buy myself uh, PlayStation VR, and I can enjoy all of the exclusives that PlayStation 4 Pro has, and all the exclusives that PlayStation VR has. Uh, yes, it doesn't have a 4K player, but who cares? Uh, if you're into 4K movies, if you're into home theater, if you love cinema, if you're into cinema, then you're gonna purchase yourself a really good 4K player and a home theater. Okay, you're gonna purchase either a Panasonic or OPPO UDP 23 or 25 you can, can if you can find one because they discontinued it but all in all you're not gonna really care much about uh, 4k that much so what are my thoughts honestly uh, my thoughts are great there's some really awesome uh, exclusives that came out in the past two years and I like what uh, PlayStation 4 Pro was able to do. Let's keep in mind uh, PlayStation 4 Pro came out way before Xbox One X and they were doing the 4K and HDR way before. Okay, so they started this way before Microsoft. And I always keep saying Microsoft it's like a missed opportunity. They always fall short. Uh, they fall short on the exclusives and they fall short on everything. Uh, they don't even have VR. I mean how hard is it for you to make a VR? You're going to make a Windows Mixed Reality for Windows, but you're not going to make a compatible Windows Mixed Reality headset with the Xbox One X. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of your 
Xbox fans would love to play Minecraft in VR and would love to play Forza 7 in VR and would love to play Forza Horizon 4 in VR as well. So how come you're not doing that, Phil Spencer? Uh, exactly. Yeah, I will not get any reply on that. Uh, what I'm going to get is from the fanboys. I'm going to get some uh, half-assed uh, bullshit question from them, you know. Oh, you know, he was busy. It was a difficult thing, you know. Yeah, what was, what was he doing? Making an Avatar 2, Avatar 3 with Jim Cameron for eight years? Like, what is he doing? It's been a long time since 2013. It's been a long time since 2014, 15, and 16. What have you been doing all this time? Uh, so, and what's even more sad is Microsoft, it's bigger company than Sony. Uh, they're multi they're almost close to trillion dollars. They're multi-trillion dollar company. Uh, they have more money than gods. Okay, so, so what's stopping you good doing all of this? What's stopping you uh, hiring 20, 30 studios, top developers to work on the games? What's stopping you, right? Sony, it's a big company too, but they were able to manage to bring out some blockbuster Hollywood type of uh, AAA games. And they're continuing to do that. Uh, just like with a Spider-Man, you know. So what happens if you don't have a PlayStation 4 Pro? Well, you're going to be missing out on a Spider-Man uh, this September. You're going to be missing out on the uh, Firewall Zero Hour, which is going to be coming out a week from now. Uh, so you're going to be missing out Days Gone. You're going to be missing out on The Last of Us, Chapter 2. You're also missing out on a God of War, which is an excellent game, a masterpiece. So you're missing out. And you're also missing out on some extra goodies that uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 will get on the release date on October 26th. And Black Ops 4 also is going to get some extra goodies. Uh, so yeah, you are missing out. You know. The only thing I'm you're going to be missing out this year on the Xbox One X is Forza Horizon 4. Uh, but is Forza Horizon 4 really that much of a big deal? Uh, depends, you know, if you're not a fan, you're not going to care much. Uh, so, it's not like a strong, strong AAA title that's going to, like, dominate or something like that. So let's talk about, a little bit more about the PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, like I said, I like it. I have two of them. I have the uh, God of War Edition. And I have uh, the original lunch edition, you know. And I enjoy it thoroughly. Uh, there's another thing you can do with the PlayStation 4 Pro. You can use your PlayStation VR headset and you can actually watch 3D movies. That's yet another thing you can do. So if you have a 3D Blu-ray movie, you can watch it on the VR headset. And then 3D movies uh, on Blu-ray, they look really fantastic. I watched The Avatar looked fantastic. I watched, Doctor, I, I watched Doctor Strange on it, looked fantastic. I, I watched a bunch of movies in 3D, and they look fantastic on PlayStation VR headset. Uh, I mean, there's a lot to like about PlayStation 4 Pro. Like I just said, not only do you get uh, an amazing amount of exclusives, but you also get PlayStation VR. And PlayStation VR is celebrating, I don't know how many millions... It was a four million or something they sold. Uh, I could be wrong, and they're celebrating that right now. Uh, PlayStation VR is sold out. You can't find it anywhere. It's really hard to find. That's how successful it is. And uh, I mean, what else can I say about PlayStation 4, 4 Pro? I'm not a fanboy, as you all know. Uh, I have all the consoles. I got everything. Uh, but I have to look at it from the outside in, not from the inside out, you know, I have to look at it objectively, uh, not objectively, I have to look at it uh, unbiased from the outside, I have to be like the United Nations, I have to be in the middle, and I have to look at it uh, that way, and it looks, gr I mean, it's, uh, if you look at it unbiasedly, if you look at it from, from my point of view, you will notice that, uh, 
that uh, PlayStation 4 Pro definitely has something to offer that the uh, other competitors don't. You know, graphically, look, man, it looks as good as the Xbox One X. Uh, it has the same AMD GPU. Okay, it uses the same uh, architecture as the uh, Xbox does from the AMD. This is the AMD console. Both consoles are AMD. Okay, they're designed by AMD and they use the AMD GPU. So therefore, uh, graphically, you're getting the same uh, textures. The only difference is between the Xbox One X and the, and the PlayStation 4 Pro is that the bump of a little higher dynamic resolution and native 4K to some games, not all of them, but there's maybe a handful that does, like Far Cry 5, Destiny 2, uh, Red Dead Redemption, so it's pretty cool that it can do that, but it's still, you know, the graphics are still the same. And uh, I love my PlayStation 4 Pro. Like I said, I've been playing it uh, ever since the uh, release date. I still have it. Uh, I have no complaints. Uh, I have my PlayStation VR original from the launch date. I have the AIM controller. I have the PlayStation 4 Pro. I have two of them, as a matter of fact, including the uh, this one, which is the, uh, the God of War edition. And then I have my lunch edition that I originally bought and still works. All you have to do is pop uh, the top uh, layer out and then clean the fans. But I, I, I still love it, man. It, it's great. looks great. plays great. The games look amazing. Even Gran Turismo Sport here, as you can see, just looks amazing. Uh, especially the fact that you can... Not only can you enjoy 4K HDR. Here's a good example. On this game... Not only can you enjoy 4K HDR with really good enhanced graphics, but at the same time, you can also enjoy the PlayStation VR. You can put in the VR headset and you can enjoy some VR. You're getting more bang for your buck. What I'm trying to say with the PlayStation 4 Pro, you're getting more value. You're getting your money worth. You're getting your money's worth. There's nothing worse uh, when you purchase a console and then you feel like you just got ripped off. Or you purchase something and you feel like you got ripped off. Here, that's not the case. Here, you don't feel like you got ripped off. Here, you feel like you really got your money's worth. You're getting Spider-Man. You're getting Firewall Zero. You're getting old... I mean, you can play Skyrim in VR for, for crying out loud. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do on the PlayStation 4 Pro that you can't do on the Xbox One X, including all of these exclusives that PlayStation has on top of the uh, PlayStation VR exclusives. So there's a lot you can do, you know, and that's a, that's a pretty big deal, if you ask me. That's a big, big deal. So, um, yeah, man, it's, uh, to me, I love it. And people ask me, which one do you play the most? Listen, guys, I play everything. I, I, I don't pick and choose. I want to experience best of the both worlds. Uh, I want to play a little bit of Gears here, a little bit of Halo there. I want to play Forza Horizon. I want to play Forza 7. And I also want to play all these cool games. Uh, I want to play Nintendo Switch. I want to play my PC games, HTC Vive, Oculus Rift. Uh, I'm really all about everything, you know. But if I had to choose, if I, if I had to choose, if I was forced and pressured to choose, I could easily, easily choose PlayStation 4 Pro over the Xbox One X. Well, there you go, I just said it. I could easily choose PlayStation 4 Pro over the Xbox One X for the reasons that I just mentioned here in this video for 15 minutes. Um, I don't know, is there anything else I can say? I love it, man. It's been a great success. PlayStation 4 has been a great success. From the launch date on uh, 2013th November, same as the Xbox One, uh, they they were selling their console for $400 instead of Xbox One X pricing theirs for $500. Uh, so uh, they they they've been successful for what two decades now, two and a half two and a half decades. They've been successful for for nearly 25, 26 years, almost 28 years. They've been successful, 
PlayStation 5. I mean PlayStation. And yes, PlayStation 5 is coming around the corner. You're going to have PlayStation VR 2 also. Uh, I mean, at this point, uh, PlayStation is just going to ride that success. And I don't think they worry about anything. Because right now they're set. Uh, you know, their reputation, their name, uh, their exclusives. Uh, every developer will want to work with the uh, PlayStation due to the, the success that they have. Uh, and this is something that the Xbox, the Microsoft knows they will never ever be able to compete. I wouldn't even dare compete right now with, uh, with Sony. It, it's, you're just going to set yourself for a failure. Why? Because it's too late. You're too far behind in, in order for you to compete right now. It's just not going to be possible. That's Carl is not going to save you. Alright. PlayStation 5 it's just gonna continue to dominate and uh, like look I still stand by my statement PlayStation dominates and continues to dominate and you will hear uh, you will see the tweet uh, tweet from Phil Spencer on uh, September 8th congrats or September 10th uh, congratulating Sony Microsoft on Spider-Man and the success sales of the Spider-Man the game is gonna be selling out the, the special edition is gonna be sold out uh, he's going to continue to congratulate Sony and um, yet again, Microsoft missed opportunity. That's all I have to say. 16 minutes. Uh, go buy yourself a PlayStation 4 Pro, man. It's a great console. What can I say? I mean, you got so many games to enjoy, so much to enjoy. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed. That $400 well spent, brother. There you go. That's my video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget tomorrow, Monday. I'm going to be uh, doing the uh, Infinity War 4K Blu-ray comparison. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a Blu-ray versus 4K and what a drastic difference it makes between the Blu-ray and a uh, 4K HDR, even though it's a 2K to 4K. It's a 2K intermediate to 4K due to the heavy CGI. But you will see just how much that HDR and how much that 2K resolution with a higher bitrate helps uh, and blows the uh, Blu-ray version out of the water. And you're going to see that when I do that video tomorrow. But keep, please keep in mind, you also got to have a really good 4K TV. If you want to enjoy Infinity War, you got to have a really good white color gamut TV with a really good contrast ratio and a really good peak brightness. and an outstanding full real local dimming. You, you got you, you gotta have those things, okay? Other than that, there you have it guys. All you Xbox fans, don't be hating. Uh, you can do yourself a favor this holiday, get yourself a PlayStation 4. I'm pretty sure you can get it for 350 if you look hard enough uh, before Thanksgiving. I'm pretty sure you can get some some pretty good deals. It's only four hundred dollars, man, okay? Go get yourself a PlayStation 4, and then you can enjoy the best of the both worlds. And then get yourself a PlayStation VR, and enjoy all of the best of the, of the worlds. Alright? There you go. That's my last message right there that I want to give out. Enjoy everything. Okay? But remember, one console has more greatness than the other. Okay? That's the bottom line. they got 15 studios. They're going to be pumping out all these games coming out. There's some more games you never even heard of that are coming out. Okay, well there you have it, take care, enjoy, thank you for watching. People say I look weird, I don't know, what do you guys think, I look weird being shaved, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's because someone's a salty crocodile, can I tell you. But actually your mama told me that I look really good. She likes, she said I'm smooth as a butter. Alright, have a good one guys, take care. I just want to put in a little joke, you know, you know me guys. I don't take that stuff seriously. I take it as amusing and fun. Take care, guys. Have a good one. I'll catch you later.